Hey everybody, this is Jamie Shaw and Terry Miller, and you are live on the Jamie Shaw Marketing Show. So, how was your week, Terry? Oh man, my week was great, and it's only Thursday. It's been busy. I did a hangout yesterday, and then we had a, a bunch of calls last night that we were on. So it's been really good, real informative week. I just hope that this thing up here can absorb <laughs> everything we've got going on that you know me coming in kind of new uh, it's a lot of information and I want to uh, as much as I can get so I can be successful oh right you know and I talked about that I did a live on the way home and talked a little bit about information overload you know and a lot of people try to cram everything you know try to cram a two-hour video training into as much as they can try to do it all at once you know and, and that's too much information to soak in your brain you gotta you know take 30 minutes of training take a 15 minute break come back and do 30 minutes of training take a 15 minute break you know so you don't overload yourself exactly because it's easy to do isn't it <laughs> Lucia. no Katie uh, made a comment you can uh, tell her you're five yeah i told her you're alive <laughs> Um, so tonight we're going to talk a little bit about branding. So you don't sign in. Me? Oh, no, Ronnie sent me a message. How do I sign in? You don't sign in. Oh, maybe she means on the live fry. Yeah. So how are they? Yeah. Um, but anyway, Katie. we're going to talk a little bit about branding. Maybe you can message her and tell her how to log in. Mm -hmm. I certainly will. But to you know, today I listened to some calls about branding now uh, from the wake up calls, and you know, uh, one one thing that really stuck out in my mind was we brand ourselves because, or what is branding, you know, and it's uh, owning a place in the consumer's mind, and you know, we buy buy stuff because of brands, you know, you may buy like I buy Folgers coffee because I like Folgers coffee. Okay, you appreciate that because she likes coffee. So, and chocolate. Don't forget chocolate. Chocolate, you know, and she probably buys Hershey's chocolate because she likes Hershey's chocolate, you know. So, you know, and we all do it. We buy brands that we we like, and that's because that's a brand we know and trust. You know, um, some of us may shop at Walmart. We Walmart's a brand that we know and trust. You know, even though some of us may not like Walmart, it's still a brand out there that. It's for the marketplace and I want to talk a little bit about branding yourself you know and you know I discussed about buying a certain, certain topic but you want to brand, brand yourself as a leader so you can build authority and make people like and trust you so and you want to start branding yourself on your blog because that is your re home real estate on the internet I mean that's your home and that's where you should brand yourself the most you should first get your blog set up uh, it should be your central piece on the internet you know you should have a picture of you on there you should your uh, catchphrase like mine's uh, changing the world one person at a time you know so you want to make it congruent with with you and what you're about you know and I don't know if I like mine anymore or not since I've grown so much I may change it and, and your blog should be clear and concise to what you're about. Right. And, you and the thing is, is that you, it's you, so you can change it. Right. You know, at any time. It's not something that you're, you know, stuck in stone there. As you grow, you might, yeah, you might as well. Right. You know, and all of us, you know, and branding your blog, you know, um, I mean, I, my given name is James J. Shaw, and my nickname, my great-grandfather gave me a nickname of Jamie, so I've always gone by Jamie, and that's what everybody knows me by, but there's a very famous author named Jamie Shaw, and I have a hard time ranking. I couldn't get the blog. I couldn't get that domain name, so I branded my blog as my given name, you know, and that's what you want to do. You want to map your domain and brand yourself by your name you know and like uh, April Marie Tucker said on the call that I listened to today you know she couldn't get April Tucker and she couldn't get April Marie because they were both taken so that's why hers is April Marie Tucker you know so 
you got to do what you got to do to get your name in some form out there so you can brand yourself. That's kind of why I dropped the, the monster marketing show or the, yeah, the monster marketing because yeah, with the internet marketing group I'm with and the community I'm with, they, they call me the monster marketer because I make monster comments, you know, in the comments, but to the people out there on the internet, they have no idea what the hell a monster marketer is. <laughs> so <laughs> they're expecting something to serve. And so, uh, on your blog, you know, you want a about me page that kind of tells a little bit about you and maybe a little bit of your story. You want to um, work with me page, you know, and you want to tell them why they want to work with you and what benefits they'll get from working with you. And you want a Facebook like box on there and an Instagram box or whatever other social media. I think I have Instagram and Twitter and Pinterest all on mine, you know, and <clears throat> so you want to try to get all the social media widgets out there. And then when you brand yourself on social media, you want to tell stories that motivate people on social media. Then we're going to get a little bit technical on your images. Oh my gosh, they're filthy dirty. I can't really see anything. <laughs> But when you get to social media, you know, like you said, do you want to? Oh, I said I was going to get technical because I said social media, didn't I? Yep, you want to yep. um, brand your images, you know, put your alt tag is, you know, your domain name or whatever the keyword is. You know, that should go in your alt tag. Um, add a watermark to all your images, you know, brand it with your uh, blog domain, you know, so I would put a watermark on there www.jamesjshaw.com so everybody knows where my blog is. Um, the better your images are, the more people will share them and make your images your own. You can go, there's freeimages.com, there's stockimages.com, there's uh, Canva, you can get a lot of free images and stuff in. Uh, you know of any other places, Terry, that you can get images? Oh, no, you know, I pretty much stick with Canva. I've right. I really like that one a lot because it is free and you can bring in images or use theirs, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Try to do a lot. My my banner on my blog I made in Canva by myself. But if you want an awesome banner made, yeah, <laughs> because she'll make you an awesome banner. She made mine, yes, and it's awesome. I think she's getting filled up though. <laughs> is she? I don't know. I mean, mine's not as good as hers, but I made it myself, so. All right, so let's see. Let's, I even took notes today so I can had a good topic to cover. So you want to brand all of your content. So what does that mean? So branding all your content, you want to you want to care about the content and what what you put out there in the marketplace. You want your content to be um, what do I say? Um, your voice. You know. Um, you don't want to copy and paste from somebody else's and, and call it your own because that's copyright. So, um, the second thing is you want to be unique and be different from everyone else, but you want to be yourself on your blog and putting out your name. Um, the third thing is you want to con contribute online and in groups and on your company page. So, you know, with, we're all in the MLSP, so you don't want to. You want to go to the MLSP Facebook page and contribute in there, which I have a bad habit of not doing. I mean, sometimes I get in there and write something, sometimes I don't. So, uh, let's see. The uh, fifth thing would be. No, that was, I already said three, didn't I? Four. The fourth thing would be con be congruent and be consistent. Being consistent is, you know. Uh, the previous company we're in where we talk to blog every day. I mean, sometimes, some weeks, you know, I do blog every day. Some weeks I don't write one blog post. Like this week, I, I've i started a blog post and I've got it about halfway done, but I'm not done with it yet. You know, so, and just like my content, I've done, uh, or my, my videos and Facebook Lives. I've done four Facebook Lives this week. So, good job. Congratulations my content out there, my name out there, my face out there, so people can see who I am. Mm -hmm. People don't know who you are if you don't put your face out there. Um, the fifth thing is know where you're going, have a vision to get there. 
and have a vision for what you want. Um, that was that's one of the other topics I was going to cover tonight, but I didn't feel comfortable with the fourth topic, so I didn't cover it because it's about a lot more of in depth and mindset. So uh, I'm not I don't think I'm there enough to teach mindset training. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You've been doing pretty good. So, so kind of what I'm picking up from what you said, just kind of a little uh, backtrack. So, our content, we want it to be our our own and be unique. Now, what if you you know you're going through and and um, you're reading some other things and you like something and you believe in something that somebody else has said? Is it okay? Because this is we're learning, right? I mean, right. we're is it okay, um, uh, so to say, we, we'll just use this little thing, is that we know that Katie likes chocolate, and so do I. Right. So I can talk about chocolate, but use my own words and how I feel about it. Is that kind of, is that yeah, okay? You can, I mean, like Chris showed us a couple weeks ago on the Hangout, I mean, he takes the content, he'll copy it and paste it, and he'll reword the whole thing and make it his own. Mm -hmm. if, if you're not going to reward it, give the author credit. For it. So, you, you know, you can put it like in quotation marks and put the author's name underneath of it so you, they know where you got it at. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure we put that out there that you could do that. Yeah, you want to always make sure you give, if you use somebody else's content, make sure you give them credit for it. Always. Sure. You know, in school, when you had to write a report, <laughs> you had to do the bibliography in the back and cite all your sources. It's the same thing. So, because if you don't, you know, somebody gets mad about it, they can nail you for copyright. Right. And if you need a good spell checker, Chris Pyers is the one and the only spelling man himself. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see. The sixth thing was to focus on relationships and build them like you would a friendship. And, you know, when I run, when Terry come back into the marketing space and, you know, was looking for an opportunity again, and that's what I did. You know, I friended her, and we become great friends. You know, and that's what happens when you market to people. You work with them so much, and you spend so much time with them, you become real good friends. And you know, all my other people like Dave Renica and Keith Stage, and I've been working with Ronnie. Then I'm here lately. You know, and we're all, you know, and uh, Sonia Harris and. Cindy Lee and Chris Perez and I go on and on and on about all the people in the workshop stuff and we've all become great friends because we work so closely together. Um, you want to take it for a minute and give some of your thoughts because I want to answer on in the comments. Yeah, I was just uh, saying hi to her as well. <laughs> um, yeah, is uh, I think that you got to get your foundation and and like he said I've just come on back on a board uh, the last maybe six weeks almost eight weeks and I'm trying to make sure that my my blog is to standard I don't want to put just throw some words on a piece of uh, or a piece of paper <laughs> well that's true I do it on paper but you know and then just throw it out there I want it to be uh, me and real and valuable I think that um, whoever stumbles across it would get some information out of it that could be uh, valuable to them. I kind of like motivational marketer or marketing, and um, I just try to. I want to help people succeed in the business, just like you have helped me come along there. So I'm I'm getting there, and I think that um, I'm really enjoying the interaction of this business and last night I was on we were on that call from M MLSP and there were hundreds a couple hundred people on that call last night and there were some really really good uh, so everybody calls them nuggets last night and um, I thought that that was very beneficial I have a couple friends that um, I have invited and they have been businesses of their own and they're like well you know I might not need what you have and I said but let's look at this however you know they do have a line and they have a set back office that was provided for them they can't don't really have a place to blog except for Facebook you know so they have to go to Facebook 
send them from Facebook over to their page and if they like something so yeah I want to show them that you know we can show them how to get uh, customers and and how to do these little videos or, or Facebook live uh, quick ones that you can get out there and uh, let them know you know one one friend of mine has uh, clothing and she does mystery bags um, on Mondays and so I thought it would be great for her to do a Facebook live and maybe show us what the item might be you know uh, and then all the different bags they might have cash they might have discounts a product whatever but I thought it would re be really good for her and so she's very interested in doing something like that so right. yeah that that's my take on kind of what I would like to do is help people succeed in their business yeah and I, I wanted to bring up you know um, other people that are doing stuff like you talked about you know MSP is not a business opportunity it's not a MLM it is a marketing factory that teaches you how to market market your products so if you have another business you can use it to market your products and right that's what they teach in there they they teach you to become a leader to be able to be successful in any other business it's basically uh, a teaching mechanism to teach you how to market online and that's where I struggled you know I've been on online for like eight years and then, I mean the technical stuff I got a handle on I've always had a handle on the technical stuff it's the marketing that I've always struggled with and you know MLSP has been a godsend for me because it's teaching me how to market you know I finally overcome my fears and stepped in my comfort zone you know and I've been taking a lot of action here lately after I got over my funk and you know, and that's what I've been learning in MLSP is to get myself out there, you know, uh, mindset training. A lot of it starts with mindset training and changing how you think about things, you know. And that's what I talked about in my Facebook Live on the way home because, you know, I hear a lot, you know, I'm frustrated with my blog. Well, get up and walk away from it for a while. Well, uh, I'm stuck and, well, I'm just going to quit because my blog made me mad. I had to remember quit because... His blog frustrated him and he just quit because his blog frustrated, frustrated him so much. Well, that's not a reason to quit. If, if you quit over that, then you don't want this bad enough. You know, and, Correct. you know, internet marketing works, home business works, but you have to make the commitment. You know, like one of the, the topics I, I covered, one of the points I covered was, uh, um, where's that? Know where you're going and have a vision of how to get there. And a lot of people don't have that vision. You ask them what their vision is or what they want, you know, they have no idea. You know, I know, you know, I didn't for a long time either. I know where I'm going now. I want to retire by next year. You know, I want to be L1 by the first of the year or higher. You know, so I have a vision and I know where I'm going now. And I marketed for a long time, not knowing where I was going, so and not knowing who my target market was, so I was marketing to everybody and marketing to nobody. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we got a set of roadmap, you know. Besides, <sighs> oh, I want to make a lot of money. Well, we all want to make a lot of money, but if you set, you know, your goals, and and they may even be baby goals. And my first goal said, to, I'm going to be taking my son to Disneyland. Um, at, at least by February because that's a good time of year to go and I can save a little bit of money but you know yeah so you just gotta uh, make those goals uh, small in the beginning because you'll feel better you you if you've accomplished one and you're just like all right I can do this and then you can set the next one so I mean yeah yes yeah, and you know, I, we talk about success and stuff a lot. You know, I never talk about money I make and stuff like that. You know, but in the previous company, I never, I only made like $65 in like three and a half years. But the last six months, I was starting to learn and gain momentum. You know, and I made like three sales right there in a row, three months in a row. And then we changed over to MLSP. And you know, it was a big change because I had to go in. I wasn't marketing the right way. I was getting sales with paid traffic. We all know that right. some pay traffic don't, the leads don't stay around. They stay for a while, then they quit, you know, and that's eventually what they did. But 
Right. That happened to me too as well. And, and it was very heartbreaking because I thought, oh, all right, you know, this is going to be easy. And it's not easy. However, it could be if you have the right mentors, the right uh, marketing partners, <coughs> the right group, kind of I think like we do, then um, I think we can set ourselves up to succeed. Um, oh. Ah, it's your turn. It's usually my dog's barking. Yeah, my wife's home, so there's a floor for a minute. So you've got the floor for a minute. Okay, I got it. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I, I want us to set a foundation, and I want to um, form my my business here. Um, and, like, like, yesterday I had Lowell Vickers with me, and we kind of talked about we wanted to be here as well. I mean, we all kind of... We want to be real. We want to be sincere. We're not going to go and take our, a picture of ourselves in front of a Ferrari and say, hey, dude, I'm doing this good. You, know, you, you want to be truthful. You, you don't want to lie to them and tell them, oh, I'm making all this money. You need to join. And, you know, it, it's just not, not going to happen. It, it, you won't last. And if you want to be in this for a long time, I think you got to be honest and up front and and of course we don't have to say yeah I made 75 cents you know but but still I mean you know you don't want to <laughs> yeah I mean faking it's no way to go I mean I, I see it all the time you know I see one this one particular guy I'm working on Facebook all the time he's always flashing mm -hmm. money and stuff like that whether he's making that money or not you know is irrelevant mm -hmm. but you know if he if you join him and he can't show you how to make the money like he's make, showing that he's making it I mean then you realize he's fake really fast. Exactly. You know, and that's why you want to focus on branding yourself, you know, and you want to be a real person to people. And that's when you're real and provide value in the marketplace, then you're going to have people come and join you, you know, and, you know, I'm getting into this Facebook, you know, contacting people and talking to people right now. I'm only talking to a couple of people, but, most of the people I talk to come off Twitter because I got the direct message in my Twitter. If you like my content, then contact me on Facebook. Or I get a friend request and I ask them, oh, why did, I'm curious, why did you give me a friend request? Because you told me to on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> or on Twitter, I mean. You know, so I've had four or five here in the last week that have done that to me. And you know, I'm like, wow, Twitter does kind of work. Maybe I did check have chris come on and train us on twitter you know but mm -hmm. i don't want to be on a webinar two and a half hours <laughs> <laughs> exactly and what i don't know if you stuck around that late because i know it was a really long day for you um what uh the uh ed i don't remember his last name the one that was running the uh last night he yeah. him and his group what that didn't come out right but anyways they when they get a prospect or a lead or a friend request they have actually shot a little video and then they send that to the person and say hey you know I'm Terry I am real and I just reached out to you I, I noticed that you asked to be my you know a uh, friend and to start just he said it just like a 30 second video and then just shoot it to him and do something because it's different and it might stick out to that person and um, you know so I thought wow that was a good idea so I uh, got a couple of his links and um, I, I, I want to read a little bit more about how they do that because I thought that was really incredible um, thinking outside the box yeah uh, I was on that last night too I, I mm -hmm. only stayed for like the first 45 minutes you know and I had a long day yesterday, so I was kind of went to bed early last night. So I, I oh. was actually in bed at like quarter till ten last night. So <laughs> and they were still going. <laughs> and then yeah. I was awake at four o'clock this morning. Why I have no idea. But oh my gosh. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's that's kind of. Nice any questions? Now, Katie made a nice comment. As long as you keep it personal, like in every video, you say your name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, I like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I always I start out my videos, I introduce myself, and then I get right to the point, tell them what I'm going to talk about, you know, and mm -hmm. and then go into my content. Mm -hmm. uh, I think by following uh, Sam method, you know, I'm maybe missing the recap at the end. It's something I need to 
go back to, and review Sam again. I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to Sam 2.0 coming out so I can go through it too. You know, can you tell us what is Sam? Sam is a South African method and it was made by Dave Renica. Nice. And he is working on Sam 2.0 to, and it teaches you how to, um, do videos online correctly and how to get them ranked on YouTube. And it does work because I've used it. I've used Sam 1.0 and used it and got many videos ranked in YouTube. And I, then I turned around and used it on my blog and I had my video ranked number one and my blog ranked number two, you know, so. Ah, oh, incredible. And that's just by the words that you use. Is that by, how you? It's by the keywords that you use and everything and how to get your blog to rank. So, and how to get your video to rank because hmm. There's so many people out there creating noise, you know, putting out videos and stuff. If you can learn how to rank up there with the top videos, you know, then you're going to get eyeballs on your videos. Uh, you know, Katie uses um, the same method. Chris Pyre mm -hmm. uses the same method. Sonya uses the same method. And they're all getting results with it, you know. So it does work. And I've gotten results with it, too. I've yeah. gotten several leads off uh, my YouTube videos. You know, and I, I haven't made really made a YouTube video for a while because I've been doing a Facebook Live. So I think I need to do what Katie's been doing and take my Facebook Live, upload it to YouTube, and then put it on my blog. That way it's got three different places. Right, yeah. That's what I was going to try made and get started. Go ahead. Pat mm -hmm. made a good comment last night. Take When you do a video on YouTube, take it and put it on Wistia. And there's a couple other mm -hmm. blogging websites. Uh, I thought I wrote them down, but maybe I didn't. That one was Wistia, or, uh, you know, and BMO. You know, you can upload those videos too. So the more video places you have your video, the more eyeballs you have to see it. So. Yeah, that that is true. Um, I was reading my notes too. Uh -oh, I'm buzzing. Are you buzzing? Oh, no. no, it's not me. <laughs> uh, We're trying that? to watch our comments and uh, yeah. And yeah. shit. Shit. I mean, that's what I want to cover then in the beginning of tonight. Mm -hmm. And I promised Ronnie that I'd go over widgets and plugins because she was having problems with widgets and plugins. Mm -hmm. And I get so busy because I'm on so many webinars and stuff through the week that I don't have time to make a video every time somebody needs a video. And, you know, Ronnie, I've been trying to do special videos for her. It's do closed caption so she can read my words as well as see me doing the action. So it helps her because, as we all know, Ronnie's hearing, hearing impaired. So yes. she can hear because she said she had her ears on in the comments, you know, So she, and she said she heard a dog bark. And so she can hear, but it's easier for her to see words on the screen. So, you know, I'm just trying to help her get, you know, like I did with you, help her get her yeah. walk set up and get going. But like I did with you, you know, I'm making her go read the PDF and do the work. And... Mm -hmm. I know she's getting frustrated with me because what you don't understand is when by me making her do the work and going through the PDF and reading it, when she gets a sign up and a sign up needs help setting up a blog, she knows exactly where to point them to help them get their blog set up. And that's true because you did that to me the other day and I was getting frustrated because, oh, my news feed or my Facebook feed was not coming through. And I just kept going at it and going, and you didn't give me the answer, and I finally found it, and it was in our back office. I had to click a link, you know, and boom, there it went. But yeah. it felt good because then I knew that if somebody got stuck, I yeah. could show them how to get beyond that point. Yeah, exa exactly, and that's, that's why I make you do it. So you learn how to do it that way when, you know, if I'm not available and you have a new sign-up that is stuck in that same problem, you know, I'm not available, so how are you going to get a hold of Jamie and find out how to fix it? Well, you got to figure out how to help them fix it right then and there. So mm -hmm. if you know how to find the problem and fix the problem, then you're helpful to them, and you stand out as a big leader to them because you help them fix it. Correct. Uh, it's frustrating, Ronnie, but it, it does in the end comes out okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean – when, when WordPress, WordPress is nothing like it used to be, it is a lot easier today. When it first came out, you know, I think I used WordPress 2.0 was the first one I used. So it's been a long time ago. And I hated that thing. I want to throw my computer out the window. <laughs> 
but it's gotten simpler and easier over the years. So <clears throat> I'm going to share my screen if I can get this to work in here. It doesn't work as well as in here as it does in Zoom. And I'm going to go to the blog. Uh, bye bye. Are you seeing my screen or not? Yes. Okay. There we go. So, like I told Ronnie, you know, I made her go. She's using MLSB Simple. So, I made her go to the theme setup and I'm making her go through this step by step. And all the information on how to set your, up your blog is right here for you. And it's all spelled out for you. Uh, she said the uh, words were too small. I'll show you a quick, easy way how to get the words bigger. Go to your view, go to Zoom, go to <laughs> in. View, zoom in, and you can get the words as big as you want to get them. You could also, couldn't you full screen it? Yeah, no, I don't think you can full screen this. Uh, but you, you have to use Zoom and Zoom in. Yeah. But all the information is here, you know, plugins, uh -huh. you know, so. And if you have a, a question on a certain plugin, say you want to do uh, that opt-in that you were wanting me to make the other day, it's in Web, WordPress Opt-in Studio. So I went through the training and figured out how to make the make the opt-in box. You know, which I don't like it. It's kind of gaudy right now, but I haven't got, had a chance to get back to it and set it up. Um, so let's go. Let's use the MLSP call to action plugin. So you go here and it tells you how to set up your MLSP call to action. You know, step by step, all the way through. And it shows you how to get all the campaigns and how to make them pop up and everything. And I'll show you how it works in a minute when I get into the dashboard and stuff. Jamie, I'm going to mute so that way they're hearing my static. Or stuff. Okay. So this will walk you exactly through how to set up the MLSP call to action widget. And each one of these, you know, it goes through how to set each one up. If you want Facebook comments on your blog, click on Facebook comments. It'll walk you through step by step how to, how to get your AP, your app and your app ID, how to set it all up for your website and everything, how to set it up in your comments. You know, Lowell didn't, Lowell was doing his hangout without any comments. And I told him, I said, just install Facebook comments and copy the code in there. He's like, how you do that? So I sent him this link and he went through it. Said he already had it activated. All he had to do was copy and paste the code in there. So everything you need, you know, if you want to know how WordPress works, you know, all these down here tell you exactly how the dashboard works, the admin bar works, how to add a heading and, you know, in the visual editor, how to switch themes and how to use customizer, stuff like that. How to do a page, the difference between pages and posts. Pages and posts. Uh, I've noticed, you know, some of you are having problems with the difference between pages and posts. Pages are where your blog posts reside. All right, I'm sorry, excuse me. Pages are where your about me page, work with me page, and stuff like that. That's where they reside at. Post is where your blogs reside at. So let's get over to here. So let's go to post first. So post, you can see that's where all your blog content comes from. And let's go look at one real quick. Whoops, that's a draft. That's a draft. Let's look at this one. So that's what your blog looks like in a post. Now, if you want to go to, whoops, you want to go to pages, you have to create pages to get all this stuff. So about me, and we'll go over to the blog and look at the about me page. Jamie, can we back up? What is the difference between a page and a post? Really, there's no difference. They're the same thing, but the pa the pages you can put in a menu bar up here, and the which the post you can too. But you know, your pages are basically your your whole structure, your blog 
because you want you know a home page which is where your blogs are you want to about me and work with me you know i have my training and then my replays for my monster marketing show you know and, and as you grow and add you know you can do a product page or like you know you're setting up a testimony page you know you can get all them up here that way people have quick access to it they want to come to your blog okay oh they got about me page so let's click on it and we can find all all about them you know which I need to do a different video for this and my work with me page because I got the videos where we did the call to actions on live on the workshop so you know in the workshop or the work with me page you know covers why you should work with me you know and these are the pages are where you can define certain areas of your blog so people have quick access to them and then on the blog you know that's your daily content if you blog daily or if you do two or three blog posts today that's your daily content you know and uh, actually they're one and the same but the page you can set up to be more structured about a specific topic and the blog resides all your blog posts or the post holds all your blog posts that's the difference Oh, okay. Thank you. And if we, as we create it, like the pages, do those titles <coughs> automatically pop up there, or do we? No, I'll show you how to get okay. them automatically pop up there. So as you create your pages, you know, it's just like a blog post. It looks exactly the same. I just seen I had one in draft, so I'll make one in draft. Stupid phone. But you know, it's just like a. Just like a blog post, it's got all the same information. You structure it the same way. You can SEO it the same way and everything. Um, go back to pages. Because I got a draft in there. Maybe I can show you how to do it live. Actually, the draft is right there. Welcome to my website. So let's see what I got in there. Nothing. <laughs> so I'm not going to write a page right here, but. Okay, I got two trash. Let's see if they are. So we could maybe we can use one of them. Okay, I would use this one. I mean, I killed it because I wasn't going to use my page anymore. Okay, so let's go back to published. So Jamie Shaw's Mar Monster Marketing Show. Now, once you get your page all set up and you want to get it in the menus, you come down to appearance. And go to menus. Now, the first step in here is you want to create a menu, which I already have one. So, it, if you want to create a new one, uh, create a new menu. Say, uh, and see, this is where Chris Perez was having problems. He was creating a new menu, uh, you know, an about me menu and a work with me menu. I said, no, you're creating menus. So, you know, you create the menu, whatever you want to do. I start out with, you know, um, what I have. Main menu. I set up a main menu right here. And then as soon as you get it all set up, all your stuff is in here. If you want post in your menu structure, then you can put post in your menu structure. If you want projects in your menu structure, which I don't have no projects, or testimonials, any of that, you can set up in your page structure. But, so you set up your menu first. Yeah, set up your menu first. You know, create a menu. Hit to create new menu. Or we'll just create one real quick. So create menu. Okay, so I'm going to add... I want to check these two boxes on the main menu so every time you create a new page they automatically come over here but since we just created a new menu we want to take whoops we want to take it add the menu there you go there's your menu oh. now they'll show up across up here but see I don't want to keep that menu because I got a main menu. Some, I mean, you can, you can have two menus. And since I have two, you know, I could take this. Whoops, stay on page. 
save menu. Okay, so let's go to manage locations. We want the main menu, it's the primary navigation, secondary navigation, put that. see that was added up in there in the top the secondary menu should have come up down here at the bottom that's it oh yeah there yeah I do yeah yeah. you can have menus at top and bottom that's you know if you have two menus like that then you can have them at top and bottom if you don't have one menu it only shows up across the top so Perfect. so that's how you get your menu set up and then you get your menu set up by creating pages and oh here let's just go ahead and create a new whoops I hit media hit a new page uh, let's go add new I need to make this page anyway now let's make a testimonies page because I need to make one anyway So we're going to make a testimonies page. Uh, um, this is what I was telling you to make only one page and you can just add more and I'll show you how to make more. So you can go, let me see, go. on yours and she gave me a testimonial video the other day and there it is right there so you go into here and you click share and copy it and then you come back to your new page add media insert from URL paste insert uh, I must have missed a step I don't but I'll go back and follow this I hit publish so it's live now I didn't do any SEO or stuff anything on it you can go down do SEO I don't want, want that title way over there so let's hit the middle button and align it center if uh you're in your if you're writing a blog and all you see is this stuff right here you hit yeah. this button right here to toolbar toggle and it'll open the whole kitchen sink and you have access to everything oh, so I want to make that uh, a heading I know Chris Perez likes to um, he likes to highlight the font family and then uh, change the font size but there's an easier way to do it just take it and it's in paragraph form now take it and make it an h2 tag so it makes it bigger and it bolds it so let's update that which i can come back you know and if you want to put another video in here i'll show you how to do another one come down here put your cursor into a space you know, and let's see. I mean, you got to make me a video video to put in there now, Terry. Okay, okay. I can do that. <laughs> now, so you just do the same thing, you know, go down and then go add media. Insert from URL, paste it. So I got the same video in there, but you get the idea. Yeah, you can stack your videos up there. You can put the date in there, you know, when they recorded or whatever you want to do. Put a little blurb in there, however you want to do it. So, oh, well, that's very <coughs> simple. Thank you, Jamie. So now, after that page is done, we'll go back to appearance and menus. And see I didn't have to do nothing it's already in there because I have these two buttons checked right there 
so my primary would check but it, my secondary was checked if I go and check my blog do a refresh on it see I got a testimonies page now and then if you go down all the way to the bottom you got a testimony menu there too so if you go to the testimonies page voila there you go then once you got it there you can hit Facebook and so you can post it to Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus Wow or that is pretty darn cool and so that's how you get your pages set up and everything okay I was going to cover plugins and widgets so um, let's see let's go where did my home page go ah, I just seen something on my menus my home page is missing Uh, 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 my main menu. See, my home page is missing on that menu. So, so now, what, what the hell? It's even the professionals have a little challenge. <laughs> Oh, there. That's why I want it on the primary and secondary navigation. If you want it on everything, you got to have all them checked down there. See, now my homepage shows up, but Ronnie wants some of this stuff over here, and that's where your plugins and your. Uh, your widgets come in so let's go show her how to do that so if you go to plugins you have all these different plugins um, and they tell you what they do if say like your Facebook comments plugin you hit your settings <coughs> you know and it's got all your settings and stuff in here I usually just go with whatever it gives me default and then once you got it all set up and everything, if you go over to your uh, appearance and go to widgets, <coughs> you can put plugins anywhere. See, like I have an ML speed call to action. Well, let's do another one there. Um, where in the hell is it? MLSP call to action. They're in alphabetical order. You grab that and drag it. So you can put it anywhere. I just happen to stick it right there. And I don't really want it there. So if you don't want it there, you just drag it off and it'll go somewhere else. I really don't want that on the home. Oh, well, let's put it on the home page and see. See what happens. So I want to use a mastery sales page and that's a tracking code check the box make it a pop-up form um, you can use any one of these themes uh, since my I have a green color in my background I use green gradient a lot so I save it and then if we go to the home it should show up over here It didn't actually let's move it up so I don't use I don't use these I don't know where they go to at on my blog so I don't use them so 
I put it right here. So that's the master sales page. So now if I go do a refresh, it should be at the bottom of my blog. Oh, I'm missing one there. What happened? Oh, I know what I did. I know where those were now. See, it's down there. So that's why that one was on the home featured. See, home featured two. Those are these up here. So if I move that one back, let's say let's let's leave that one there. Move this one over there. So that one is the ultimate blogging bundle. So I do a refresh. See, now I got the blog bundle, lead magic, and video marketing ideas. But that's how I get, that's the theme I use because I use the Streamline Pro theme. And uh, you can find out what theme you're using. If you go to themes, let's see, I'm using Streamline Pro. Streamline Pro is for advanced uh, WordPress users. It's pretty customizable, and you have to know what you're doing. I mean, a beginner could probably use it and get away with it and figure out how to use it, but um, I tr always direct new people to use uh, MLSP Simple. Or somebody that's intermediate, you know, I, I direct them to use Flex Pro. Uh, MLSP Simple is right here. You can, you know, if I went to an MLSP Simple right now, the way my blog's set up, I'd probably mess it all up. Let's see, that's what, that's what it would look like right now. If I went to MLSP Simple, which I don't like. Oops, I just knocked myself out of my dashboard, didn't I? So, one thing I always recommend, I mean, Bob contacted me last time, last night, and one of his sign-ups wanted to know how to use the Divi theme. The Divi theme is highly customizable, and it is for advanced WordPress users only. I wouldn't recommend it to any new person or any intermediate person. And you can see as soon as it loads, it's going to screw my blog totally up too. You know, and I don't like how it looks because I already got mine all set up. I'd have to work my butt off to get this all figured out and straightened all back out in a Divi theme. But if you go to here and go through the Divi walkthrough, it says right here that because of how advanced it is, MLSP support will not be providing support for this specific theme. You're on your own if you go to the Divi theme. That's why I don't recommend it because I don't know how to use it, so I can't help you if you get stuck in it. <laughs> and then, uh, where'd my dashboard go? Did I delete it again? Okay, so let's go back into widgets. So um, Terry was having problems getting her Facebook in there. So Facebook page plug in. And that's what I was trying to get you to figure out is all you had to do is copy your page link in here. It won't take your profile because it's got to be a Facebook page URL. It says right there. And that's what I was trying to get you to do. Well, since I have two pages, I can put a second one in there. So let's go. Where is it? F, 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 F. And all these are in alphabetical order. So I think they are anyway. Facebook page plug-in jetpack. So let's put it right there. Thank you. 
results. You just take this link, copy it, paste it, make sure all these are checked. We'll go back and refresh it. So now I have the Monster Marketer on Facebook, and I have work with Jamie Shaw on Facebook. And you do the same thing with Twitter, Facebook Secrets, you know, Pinterest, Instagram. You gotta watch Pinterest. So I've been noticing every time I go to Pinterest, there's all kinds of naked women on it when I log into it. I'm like, whoa, I don't want to see that on my feed opening showing up. But it should only show what I have on my page, which I don't have that on my page. So hopefully none of that stuff shows up on in that feed. So which I got a lot of stuff that says Klaatu in there. I might have to go delete that board that has Klaatu in there. But you see how everything goes, you know, and I don't want that in there. So if you don't want that page in there, so let's go back and uh, trash that page. See if you go refresh, and that should be gone. And it's not because I didn't take it out of the menus. So you gotta go to menus and you gotta remove it from your menus. Remove. That's another thing I can show you too. Um, if you want Say if you have a bunch of pages and you want to stack them, you can do under, say, uh, work with me. You want your training to be under the work with me page and you want um, the Monster Marketing Show to be under there. So go there, save your menus. See, now my menus are short now. See, but if you hover over it, there's the replay. You go to work with me, there's my training. So you can stack menus like that and get sub menus. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Anything else, Ronnie? Anything else I can cover that you can uh, think of? I said my voice was vibrating on YouTube sounds like a recording repeating. How do I stop that? I don't know. Um, and same with. Uh, I lose Terry or on my own. <clears throat> so any of these widgets you can drag over like your uh, I'm here. Easy Facebook. Oh, okay. Your easy Facebook like box, you can drag it over here and put it in there. You know, so which that's not my feed. I don't know what it is. You probably put your I think you can put your Facebook profile in here. Well you are GGP. Uh yeah, because you gotta have your Facebook app ID and everything, so that's for your profile. So that's kind of like, which that's not hard to set up. Um, copy that. Go into the widget. Put that um, to get your. Uh, You can either copy all this stuff or you can get your uh, app ID, which your app ID should be in your Facebook comments. There's your app ID right there if you use Facebook comments. 
Oops. And you want to put your app ID in right here. That should have put that in there. Let's see if it did or not. You know, a lot of your blog is trial and error. You know, you try it and see if it worked. See it squeeze them up because I put that Facebook thing in there. And see, so, yeah, I don't like how that looks, so it's still working. There we go. Facebook profile. So, see, so it still didn't. Oh, it's got to be a fan page. So it's got to be. It's got to be a page. It can't be your profile. So it's got to be a page. So. So this link here has to be a page. You can take that S out because it gives you the S because. That's a secure page because I'm logged into Facebook, so that's why I give you the S page. Okay, there you go. So there's a couple different ways you can get it in there. So there's a couple different ways you can get different plugins to do stuff for you. You know, uh, all you got to do is drag them and drop them. So she says my voice is vibrating. I don't know why, but um, I don't know why my voice is vibrating, but uh. You know, I hope that helps you and Ronnie both. And yeah, I got a lot of value. I, I got a lot of pointers out of there, and I know what I did wrong, and I can fix it. So, yeah, yeah. thank you. But, you know, the, the best way to, to learn how to figure out your blog is to screw it up where you don't like where it looks, then take, you know, take all the stuff out that you did, you know, and just play with it, you know. There's no point getting frustrated with it. You know, just play with it a little bit. If you get frustrated, get up, walk away from it, and then come back to it later. You know, yep. so. Uh, I mean, I could go on a blog all night long, but we got a team call, and 25 minutes, and I got a deep abyss call going on right now. So. All right. Well, thank you, Jamie, very much. So I hope you guys enjoyed everything. You know, make sure. Um, if you're interested in joining our team, you know, uh, click on the big candy like yellow button down below. It says, yes, let me in. You know, and join our team and you can get this kind of interaction and uh, training all the time. And, you know, then you are eligible to join our 24 hour marketing mastermind, which we have on Saturday night. And Dave Renick and Dave Renica and Katie Stage are in charge of that. They are our leaders. And, uh, you have to be a member of one of our teams, either my team or Terry's team or anybody else, you know, that's above us or next to us, you know, like Sonia or anybody like that. You can get access to this team, this mastermind workshop. And uh, we're talking about doing something big here in a couple weeks, which I'm not going to reveal the secret right now. Dave's talked to me about it. I'm in for it, you know, so uh, it's going to be something big. So you guys keep your ears on and keep your We'll put the word out when we find out. You know, so if you want to be part of the workshop, let me know. I'll, I'll get you in. You have to meet some criteria to get in the workshop. Monday night, make sure you go visit Dave and Katie and Pops on the 24-Hour Marketing Mastermind. On Wednesday night, you make sure you go visit Wisdom Wednesday with Pat Patterson, Tandy Davis, Katie Stage, Pops. Is Pops on there? I don't know if Pops is on there or not. Dave Renica, Dave Sisler, and hang out with them. It's always a great time on Wednesday night. And then come back here next Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All the shows are at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
and come back to Penny Pinch Marketing and come hang out with us again, and we'll have something new for you next week. So, all next week. Okay, bye, guys. Thank you, Jamie.